Hello there, kids. It is I, Strike Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. All right, when we left off, we had been exploring Higgs Village a little bit, and we're going to move on to one of the next houses that we have not explored yet, which would be 104. And I'm not entirely remembering whose house this is. I think this is Boros. No, this is Dala. You don't want to know why I can tell? Because she has so many fucking teddy bears all around this goddamn place. Fucking weirdo. Speech books. Speech. <laughs> motherfucker. Speech skill book. There we go. Now I can speak English. And she also has assorted. Well, stuff around the place. Pre war hats. Uh, Pre war bonnets. Uh regular attire more or less and you gotta really be careful what stuff you want to carry on you more or less because it's it's sometimes it'll go overweight and you'd have no need for that stuff in the first place holy crap that's a lot of teddy bears on that thing okay let's see if we can yeah we'll pair this up a little bit with that uh, don't need any repairs on that, oddly enough. And... Maybe... 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 And... I think we're good. And... This is pretty much the extent of her house, more or less. Uh, we can check the kitchen area here. And... It's basically a bunch of books. Well, basically the same as before. A uh, whole lot of wine is always good <laughs> technically for me not for normal people <laughs> normal people I'll take that I'll take that that and that atomic cocktail and I think I should drop a few things I don't really think I should be carrying as much stuff as I am uh, death claw hand uh, has some value but it's not necessarily what I need um, let's see how many books I have I uh, really only need, like, 25. So, that'd be, this in itself is like 5, 10. I'll drop one of these. So, it'd be 15. And, let's see. Look at the small ones. 20... I have 25, okay. So, I'm basically good on that. What else should I drop then? <laughs> Not a lot of leeway here. Wasteland Wanderer outfit. I'll drop that. And I'll drop this. And I'll repair that with a pre-war bonnet, because why the fuck not? There we go. And I have a little more wiggle room with my weight. And I think, I think I'm going to actually head out of here for now. Keep a bookmark here for 04, 08, and 00 have already been searched. And we'll head out of here, I think, once we find an exit. Usable one. This is not really a usable one. <laughs> I don't think. Now this is just a bunch of stuff. Microfusion cells, stim pack, I could use a stim pack. And the duffel bag, uh, right away, and Tales of Chivalry, Chivalry, oh, didn't think I could get on top of the house, that's kind of cool, <laughs> let's be honest, okay, we'll get down here, before my whisk, actually, I have plenty of whiskeys, so, you know what, we'll explore a little more, a little bit, just a little bit, uh, 101, We'll find out whose area this is. We've already discovered Dallas, Dr. O's, and Dr. Eight's. So, whose is this? This seems like a normal person's, more or less. Brahmin steak, we could always use that. Uh, Nuka Cola, not so much. Um. Let's see what else I can take to uh, get rid of some of this weight. Uh, bugger. Not a lot. 
I could probably use to purify the water. There we go. A whole bunch of stuff there. And I think this is Dr. Klein's house. Mainly because there's a lot of booze in the back and he seems like a man who needs a lot of booze. Or maybe it's Dr. Mobius' uh, last place. Maybe. Uh, book shoot. The book shoot. Maybe it's Mobius's. Maybe. At least now we'll be able to deal with the, uh... Ah, crap. Deal with the books that I had picked up. Which is always good. Do I really need to carry the nuka cola? Don't think I do. I'll just drink it. I haven't drank a nuka cola in a while. This is Dr. Klein. So, it's actually Dr. Klein's house. That's what it is. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else. Mentats. Wine bottle. Dr. Klein's scrubs. Yep, it is Dr. Klein's house. Unfortunately, we cannot pick up all of this stuff because I am overburdened as fuck. So, we're going to get the flying hell out of here. Real quick. Or, maybe I can prepare some of the stuff with the stuff I already have. Uh, no, it does not look like it. So we'll get the hell out of here. We'll get the hell out of Dodge, come back, and then pick all this stuff up. How's that sound? Sounds good to me. Get up to the place where we're supposed to go to get the flying fuck out of here. Not to be this way. Regionaries are the standard soldiers in Caesar's Legion. Their level of experience and overall toughness. Ha ba da ba doo ba da ba la 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 Go, my mighty robo scorpions! Crawl in search of intelligence! Then sting said intelligence! Yes, sting it! Yeah, that makes a whole lot of no sense. Okay, we'll just scrap that. It's for the hollow tape for the book shoot, uh, speech skill book, all of this stuff is necessary so we'll head back to the sink and then head back to Higgs village in a bit we're already picking up some of this stuff without the quests that is awesome now if I remember correctly there are a few things that I need to complete the whole thing for then it'll let me pick all of that up but I honestly don't remember what <laughs> okay book shoot there we go Ah, good day, citizen. Library Processing Unit 232.7 is online and ready to eradicate sedition. Eradicate sedition? Of course, citizen. That's my duty and sole joy in life. All those books from before the war, full of seditious, treasonous, complicated thoughts. Just dump them in and lickety-split, I'll have them pumped, scrubbed clean, and pressed out again clean and white, and sedition-free. So you make blank books? What's the point of that? Blank books are better for the mind, citizen. Real science by real men in lab coats has proved that introducing outside thoughts confuses the brain. Blank books encourage the reader not to question, but to blindly and zealously accept what's put in front of him. Also, I suppose you could use them to keep a journal. You sound like a Republican. Okay, okay. <laughs> I should probably not alienate Republican viewers. <laughs> uh, I don't care. Uh, so, <laughs> but those books are our last legacy of the time before. You can't destroy them. Citizen. That sounds dangerously seditious. If my reindoctrination module was installed, I'd take care of that for you. Sadly, that system was cut for budget concerns, so you'll have to perform your own indoctrination. Now, to begin with, you'll need a cage that can fit over your head and a sack of mole rats. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> that's... that's... weird. So, uh... Can you do anything besides processing books? What good is eradicating sedition if the malcontents have ready access to the means to make more, citizen? I can also process pencils and clipboards. Wait a moment. Pencil processors offline? Pencil processors offline? Apologies, citizen. 
It seems traitors have absconded with that module. <laughs> if you can find a backup copy of the module, I will happily eradicate your ability to create seditious literature. Oh, thank you so much. That's what I want. I have some seditious material for you to process. Fantastic, citizen. Just input your quantity of seditious material on my interface, and in no time at all, I'll have you a beautiful, clean book. Won't that keep you happy and docile, citizen? Holy shit, it does sound Republican. Okay, process the books that I have, mainly so I can make a skill book that I really want to do. Uh, I don't have enough scrap metal for making anything else out of these. Um, let's make the uh, barter skill book, because that's the one I need to advance first. There we go. Get that out of the way. And I'll get a few more things to make up some weapon repair kits. Uh, I think more scrap metals will do the trick. I think those will do plenty. Uh, let's, yeah, let's get a few more. Actually, let's see if we can get another one of these. Another one of these. Yeah, it should be good. It should be good. And we should be able to make plenty of weapon repair kits with that. Yeah, four. Awesome. And make some overcharged energy cells. Overcharged energy cells. That I'm now able to speak English. English, English, English. Uh... Uh, let's... Fuck! I'm dumb. <laughs> Give me a second, I'll be back. Alright, I'm back, and now I'm dropping off some more of my other crap that I don't need. Uh, mainly the stuff that I can be making medical bags with and whatnot. We have doctor's bags. Um, medical braces... Where's, yeah, scalpels, scissors, forceps. Where's the forceps? Where are you, buggery? Oh, I already dropped them. Okay, cool. Okay. I think we're good on that. I think we're going to drop this uh, one aid thing in here. Actually, a couple. Uh, I don't really need all of them. Um... Where was it? Where was it? Yeah, that... That I don't need. The mutant cave fungus I don't need on my person. This I don't need on my person. And this I'm actually going to use in a bit. Uh, wine, I definitely. Actually, I'll sell that. And first things first, I'm going to use that up. Whoop. Oh, yeah, I kept that for a reason. That's right. To repair all of this up. But that's about it. That's all I'm gonna do it for. Because I need that pistol for repairing the little sir, devil. Alright, I'd like to buy some things. Very good, sir. And main thing I'm gonna be buying. Well, I'm not gonna be buying anything really. I'm gonna be selling these uh, submachine guns since I have no use for them whatsoever. Going to be Hmm. There's a lot more than I thought I had. Uh, selling this. The combat knife. I don't really need that. Uh, okay. There's other things. There's other things. There we are. Selling those and the pulse mines. Selling that soon, too. Uh, microfusion cell. Don't need that. Don't need those, definitely. Plasma pistol. I'll need that. These don't really weigh that much, and I'll be possibly using them in the future. Those don't weigh anything, but I want to sell them, because fuck it. Uh, pulse mines, I really don't need those. I, I thought I dumped those. God damn it. Okay, I'll do that in a bit, and I thought I dumped that too. Apparently I'm wrong. Uh, I'm wrong a lot. Let's be honest here. I'm wrong a lot of the time. And let's... Yep, that's good. And we'll dump the things that I thought I dumped but didn't, because I'm a big old dummy dum dum hit. Uh, let's make sure I actually see it this time. Yeah, scrap electronics and that. There we go. There we go. I am good now. More or less. Now let's break down these real quick. Because we need... 
need those more than you know. Okay, let's put some more into that. Put some more into that. And put some into that. Might as well. Yeah, there we go. I think we're pretty much good on all of that. All that good stuff. Now, there was another thing we had picked up. What was it again? It was... I think... Jukebox! Jukebox, that's right. Ooh, yeah! Dig that sweet music. Damn, it's good to be back online. <laughs> What's your purpose here? Dig, I'm an acoustical wizard kid. Old Doc Moe used me to prototype his sonic weapon designs. Get me a good sample base to work from, and I can whip up a way that makes Jericho look like a kazoo. <laughs> can you do anything like that for me? Got yourself a sonic emitter, don't you? Thought so. Bring that old thing on in here, and bring me some sound samples, and I'll make that baby sing. Or scream, <laughs> if that's what you want. That's a, uh, that's a little foreboding. Uh, I found a sound wave file for you. Right on, daddy-o. Just plug it in and I'll mix you up a sweet, sweet sound. Cool beans. Opera singer and tarantula have been made available for the sonic emitter. However, the, uh, there's... They only really cause special effects when using the weapon. And as it stands, where it for critical strikes, I get them to cause paralysis, which will immediately fucking paralyze whatever power armor or robot I'm against, and I'll be able to damage them a lot more easily without fear of damaging myself. So, really, this is actually pretty good. So we'll leave it as is for right now. And your lives will have their doneness setting turn to Dunness darkest. Doneness setting. <laughs> really? Really? Okay, that's a thing, I guess. Okay, so I think now we will head back to his village to explore more of that. Now that we got all that stuff out of the way, head back to Higgs village and we'll pick up more stuff. Because there is a lot of stuff. There's quite a lot of stuff down there. Quite a bit. I don't think I actually checked my carry weight as it was sitting. Um, that's that right now. Uh, 145. Ah, that seems a little up. But, you know what? It doesn't really matter to me too much. First, before I forget, take that. And now we'll go in and explore a little more into was it 104 I'm sure it was 104 and we'll jump down there we go yeah it was 104 I think possibly maybe this was Dallas yeah this was Dallas I was looking for 101 maybe I think it's over here This was Dr. O's. Uh, this was 101. And here we go. No, this is... No, this is definitely... This is definitely his. I'll duck down so I can get these whiskeys out of here. The scotch. The vodkas. Damn, he had a lot of booze. Damn, I can understand why he gets so pissed at them now. Uh, let's take some of these sarsaparillas. Why not? And let's see what else is in here. Yeah, a couple of sarsaparillas here. Uh, refrigerator. Maze. Grilled mantis. Yep. Um, hmm. I think we have a few more things to find in here. There's mainly his glove and... Yeah. Dr. Klein's glove and his uh, scrubs. Yep, they're there. Whiskey wore off. Yippity-doo-da-diddly. I don't care. 
and a little bit of wine over here. It really, it really makes sense why he's such an angry man now. Um, how much weight do I have? Um, let's pick some up so that way I'm at 30, and then I can make one of the other things that I wanted to make. Where am I at now? 291, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we're good. We are good now. And we're going to get the hell out of here. And make another book, possibly. But, uh, first, I want to see the, uh, buildings we did not go into. 102. I want to see what's in here. I think this is... Yeah, this is Mobius's. You can tell by the big red computers. And the huge stack of Mentats. He is really a fan of Mentats. God damn. He loves that shit. I'm gonna pick all these up. Because there's a lot. There's a whole shit ton right here. And that's just in there. Since it's Esperilla. Uh, bottle caps. Violent cabinets. Has nothing. <laughs> Some Mentats over here. Over here. Jesus Christ. This motherfucker was addicted. So damn hard. Science skill book. Hey, that's always good. I'll take the pre-war ad, cause fuck it. Why the fuck not? Hey, pre-war money. Take the mentats. And there's really oh, wonder glue. Is there anything in that footlocker? Caps. How about the filing cabinet? Caps. <laughs> and there's a toaster sitting right there to have its guts spilled out. More or less when I get to it. And there's a ah, pre-war money. Gotta love that. Pre-war money. What's in here? Some more bottle caps. And cabinet. Let's see. I'm just gonna explore and then end the episode after this. Uh, what is in here? Nothing much. What's in the oven? Pilot lights. That's it. That's pretty much it. And the refrigerator has gecko steak. And that's about it. Yep, that's about it. It was pretty much a useless adventure from start to finish. Uh, we'll eat some of this maize. There we go. Get the weight down and get the hell out. And I think we will end the episode here for this time. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.